Lads, lassies, welcome back to the YouTube and welcome to another day in lockdown. Would you believe Ireland's gone back in again? Uh, but nonetheless, I had a cool little idea and I did it for my last video and I figured it's probably the best thing that I can do right now as I'm stuck in these four walls. So basically I put up on my Instagram yesterday and said send me videos, you try and tricks and then I will kind of look at them, dissect them and then hopefully give you tips and you can then go ahead and try and land them. And also I think it's kind of useful because you'll see it and it might be a similar mistake to the trick that you're trying and so you'll be able to take the tips and then hopefully apply it to yourself as well. Um, so I've decided I'm going to probably do these a good bit but this is going to be all cable. I shouldn't have said that because now all the boat wake words have just left. Nonetheless, and then I'll do another one all boat and then I'll probably mix and match them or whatever. Um, the good news is potentially I'm going to be able to travel out of here soon. Fingers crossed. Anyway, I'm going to put you up, mount you on the tripod, and we'll get straight into it. Okay, first up is a cable. It's a little shredder. I actually can't remember your name. I saved all these videos like two hours ago, and I didn't save them with your names, and now it's all lost and confused. But anyway, trying a crow mode. And I love this because the idea of these videos is everything from beginner to advanced, and obviously crow mode is a fairly advanced trick. So hats off to you trying at your age. I have no idea how old you are, but I'm gonna say, like, early teens, which is pretty cool. Um, so, the crow mode, looking at your video, I think there's a couple of things going on. Now, I do have one question for you, and it is how good is your blind landing like this? How well can you ride like that? Can you do toe threes pretty well? Because that is very, very important. And it's, it's the most fundamental part of this trick. So that's tip number one is if you haven't already, work on that blind landing. And you can never be too good at blind. My second tip is as you take off, I think you're going into the spin a little bit too soon and actually you could do it flipping a little bit more. If you look, when you come into the landing, you're very much still over your heels which tells me you haven't flipped enough. You're only flipping maybe 90%. So on the top of the kicker, I'm gonna say focus on really getting up and under a little bit more and then going into the spin just a fraction later. Um, so that's tip number two. And then tip number three is as you land, look to that shore because that's gonna help you get from here over to there because you'll end up going where you look so if you look to that shore you'll end up getting a little bit more up over your feet and then hopefully you'll ride away smoothly so in summary obviously that blind landing is so important try and get a little bit more flip into it before you initiate the spin and just more flip in general and number three is look to that far shore on the landing uh, but it's really 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 sick attempts and hopefully you can get it um, and do keep me updated the next one, I guess. I, don't, I felt like I was about to say end the video there, but we'll go to the next one. Boat. The next one is on the boat, and it is a heelside back roll. And I have to say, I really like how you're learning this. You're doing it one wake, you slow the boat down. It looks really, really good. Your edge, your approach in, it's all really, really good. Now, if you've ever watched my tutorial on how to back roll, I always advise slowing it down, doing one wake, and doing it with one hand. Now, watching yours, you are doing the flip with one hand. However, you're doing it with your back hand. So as you're taking off, you'll notice your front hand's coming up, and then your front hand's coming off, sorry, and then your shoulders end up naturally opening up. So my biggest tip to you is gonna to be to actually, as you take off, let go of the other hand. It's gonna do two things. It will actually make your rotation better, but then it also means as you land, you're not gonna be almost open to the boat looking for a front edge because you have your left hand on the handle and you should then ride away a lot smoother. So basically, long story short, because I tend to waffle if you haven't noticed, is just keep your left hand on the handle the whole way through. Next. Tantrum on the kicker. Okay, so respect for trying it. And actually you're doing a really, really good job of the rotation, but actually where the problem stands is all in your takeoff. So as I watch it, when you come into the kicker, you're really absorbing the kicker with your knees. So if you look, when you get right to the top of the kicker, your knees are fully bent, which is cool, but at that point you need to actually stand up out of that squat to get any pop out of it. And also, that helps you initiate into the flip. So basically, my only tip for you, without overcomplicating it, is go into the kicker and as you start to ride up the kicker, just start to stand up as if, as if you're here on the sofa. Just 
stand up and that is going to make a dramatic difference. So give that a go and I'd say it's going to make a huge, huge difference. I really hope these transitions are actually working. Um, okay, so the next one is a toe seven on the kicker. Really, really difficult trick, so hats off to you for giving it a go. And actually, you're making a very, very good attempt. Um, so watching it, for me anyway, what it looks like is you're spinning very, very early and then you're in that blind position waiting for the landing a little bit too long. And when you're in that blind position, effectively the longer you spend in that position, the less control you have. So ideally you really want to just be slotting it down into that blind landing very last minute. So my advice to you is very similar to the toe three earlier work on that blind landing. No matter how good you are, it's never good enough. So really, really have that blind landing really, really good. And this might seem silly to the rest of the world, but genuinely, how good is your toe three? Because I've had friends who are doing toe sevens, but they can't really do a very good toe three. So genuinely, make sure your toe three is just absolutely spot on. And then work on doing a few up toe side 180s, toe side 180s, boom, last minute turning it into a toe three. So drills like that, it's the exact same landing. We wanna get as familiar as possible with that motion. Then when we go for the toe seven, you don't wanna change a whole lot, but actually just as you get to the pass, kind of 450 to 540, when you put on that two hands, you wanna then at that point spot the water and think, okay, I only have another little bit to go into the land, so it's time to pull it in with two hands and go into that blind landing. And if you look at it, when we go toe three, it's the exact same as when we go toe five into blind landing. Hopefully that makes sense from the, from the comforts of my own sitting room. But what I mean is basically it's very, very similar. And so if you break the trick down, you get familiar with the landing, then it's gonna become a lot easier. So in summary, try and just do the, the end of the spin a little bit later and really familiarize yourself with that toe three landing. I'm a bit breathless from that. It's the closest to wakeboarding I've been in a while. Forgot to make my transition, but last but not least is a video that was sent in and it actually came with a bit of text that said, uh, how, oh, no, no, no. Just can't stay switch after the tantrum to revert. Like it works out sometimes, but I can't figure out why. So. First of all, I'm going to give you a little bit of um, education, I'm going to say. I don't know I don't know how to say this without sounding like a douchebag and be like, oh, well, actually. But to me, it looks very much like a toe side back roll to revert. Uh, the reason I say that is because of the kicker on the left hand side. So you're probably approaching the trick facing it, which means it's a toe side, toe side or on the cable if it's a rail it could be front side but it's a toe side back roll to revert is what I would call that um, so oh, I'm gonna really sound like a douchebag but the chances are if you can't stay switch it's 99.99999% of the time because your switch riding isn't good enough so I feel really mean to you but really 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 work on your switch riding and make it so that it's second nature and I know some people are like oh it's so much effort, and I understand that, but it's like learning to wakeboard from scratch again. And when you do it, you'll be thankful forever. So my tip to you, and my only tip to you, because, sorry, let me give you some solid praise. You're absolutely killing the rotation, the takeoff, everything's really, really good, and your landing is just a bit messy, and I can tell it's because you're uncomfortable in that landing. So really, really practice that switch, get more and more comfortable, do a load of toe so and a's off the kicker, do full laps of the cable, switch, hit the kicker, switch, get all those basics. It's gonna take a week, two weeks, three weeks, depending on how often you ride, but I promise you, it'll all, it'll all work out for it in the end. Anyway, that is the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. What I will say is I find this style video could be very useful for people learning new tricks because a lot of the time people are making the same or very similar mistakes. So you could watch it and you could be like, I'm doing that too, that makes so much sense. So fingers crossed that works for you. Um, and I do realize this video is pretty, pretty grimy. Like I'm just at home, I'm not out on the water. It's not as exciting as many videos have been in the last couple of years. However, 
We're in full lockdown and I swear this year I'm not going to do all my videos from home and in Ireland. I will be doing some travel, hopefully very, very soon. I'm working on maybe getting out of the country for a week or two very, very soon. I'm waffling. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.